My hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monique and welcome back to my channel. All right, so you guys saw the intro video. You know what this is gonna be about. You had to know that I was gonna do this. I actually got tagged by a bunch of people to talk about this and I was like, why not? Why not talk about it, right? Anyways, before we get into it, let me just go through the huge and tell you to go to my website at letstalkdarling.com. Make sure you scroll on up to the top and subscribe to all my social media platforms so that you can stay in contact with me. And then scroll on down to the bottom and provide me with your email address so that I can give you even more exclusive stuff that I wouldn't put on social media because I would get in trouble. And right above that, there is a donate button if you so wish to donate to the channel. Right now, I am doing a give back challenge and those donations are going to be going to that. Okay, let's get into this crazy story. So you saw that video. That was Miss Tessica Brown, a TikToker. And well, she's 40 years old. I don't know if at 40 years old, I want to be known as a TikToker. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, Miss Brown did the craziest thing and I was just like really dumbfounded that somebody could actually do this. Now, the reason why I'm speaking out on this is because I actually use the product, not the Gorilla Glue, but the product that she ran out of for my wigs because as you know, I wear wigs. This is actually a wig right here and I use the Got To Be Glue product to adhere, adhesive adhesive you I use it as an adhesive for my wigs adhere adhere my wigs to my um my cap or whatever um so that's this product right here okay now like I said it's called got to be glue this stuff is amazing it is almost like glue but the great thing about it is that the minute you put water to it it completely washes out it almost like disappears completely and um but it does hold extremely extremely well so Miss Brown apparently ran out of her got to be glue and saw that she had a spray bottle of Gorilla adhesive and decided to use that for her hair. So as you saw in the video, she does like a little spray, like she does a little slick down look, which I do as well. I know exactly what she's talking about. I know exactly how she would use the got to be glue for that because it does an amazing job of just holding everything down. You don't get any flyaways, you don't get anything. And she uses the glue. I don't know if she realized that it was glue glue and not like hair glue, um, but, or maybe she thought like, because got to be has the word glued in it, that this Gorilla Glue, because it was a spray, was the same thing. I don't know, I can't really speak for that. What I will say is there is a product that is a hair gel called Gorilla Snot. I'm going to put a picture of that up and I'm thinking that maybe that's what she maybe thought that was, okay? Again, I'm just making assumptions here because I don't know. Um, I'm assuming all that's gonna come out in the court case because she is suing the Gorilla Glue company. Um, so anyways, she bonds her hair to her head and realizes that like, wow, it's really there. Like her hair is not moving. Now one might think, okay, like I thought when I saw this um, story and we saw it in the news after this was all kind of played out, but one might think that like maybe like a day or two went by and she was like, okay, this doesn't seem right. And then maybe went to the doctor or did something to try to figure it out. But no, a month passed by before she actually went to the emergency room. The very first thought she had was to make a TikTok video asking the TikTok community for advice on how to fix her hair problem. Now that blew my mind because that really speaks volumes for the world we're living in today. 
Um, but I was really surprised that this woman is 40 years old and this is the route she chose to go. Because if it were me, okay, like after day one of like, okay, going to, you know, take my hair down or wash it or do whatever. Sometimes I don't wash my hair every day. So, but still, like I always brush out the got to be, you know, so that my hair is not like with product in it. It, it, it blows my mind that, that she went on TikTok to ask the TikTok community for advice. Now, if I were on TikTok and I would have seen this, I actually would have thought it was like a stunt, like to try to go viral. So I wouldn't have taken it seriously. I wouldn't have thought like, clearly, she, you know, she needs help because I would think if it was that serious, she wouldn't be on TikTok. But no, she went on TikTok to ask for advice. People were giving her all kinds of advice. She tried um, baby oil, cooking oil, olive oil. She washed her hair like 15, 20 times and nothing, okay? Like even in, um, I'll put a video up here of her washing her hair and kind of demonstrating how it wasn't working. Um, it just wasn't budging. So she finally went to the emergency room and the emergency room started to use acetone wipes on her hair. And I apparently that was like really causing a lot of burning and discomfort for her. Um, and she did not get it out right away. It basically took her hair out. Um, I'll post some pictures up here as we're talking. It took her hair out. It really, really ruined her hair. And now she is, like I said, suing the Gorilla Glue company um, because of a mistake that she made. Now, I think that is completely ridiculous, okay? Like you're 40 years old. Okay, number one, the product on the bottle, if you even took the time to read the bottle, says do not use on eyes, on eyes, skin, or clothing. So I know that it specifically doesn't say don't use on hair, but technically if you put it on your hair, you're using it on your skin because whatever goes on your hair goes to your scalp. So you would think that somebody would realize that, but again, you know, here I go, assuming people have just a little bit more intelligence than I guess they do. Now, this is the even crazier part, you guys. This is the, like, like the, like the Gorilla Glue on the hair wasn't crazy enough, okay? I don't know if she started, the, I think she started the GoFundMe. She starts a GoFundMe and it had like a $1,500 goal. Now, the GoFundMe was to buy wigs, okay? Now, one might say, well, $1,500 is a lot of money for wigs. If you're buying human hair wigs, it's actually not that much because a human hair wig, a good wig can cost you a couple hundred dollars. Um, like if you just get a few, so like $1,500 for wigs is not that expensive or not that much. But my thing is this, okay, what is this world that we live in where you make a mistake, you do something stupid and now you start to go fund me so that I can fund your mistake because you were an idiot. Well, apparently a bunch of people like took pity on this woman and she has the GoFundMe now at $18,021. $18,021. Like I hope that she takes some of that money and goes like and enrolls like in some type of college course on reading, maybe like a chemistry class, like something to like, you know, like educate yourself a little bit so you don't do this again. But my thing is this, like, what is this teaching people? Okay, again, I go back to the fact that this lady is 40 years old. Like, she's not a 20 year old, she's not a teenager, she's 40 years old. But what does this teach people? This teaches people, oh look, I can do something stupid and it turned into a viral TikTok moment and now I'm $18,000 richer. On top of that, Beyonce's hairstylist reached out to this woman and said, hey, if you need wigs, or you need instructions or like, you know, some tips on how to care for your scalp, let me know, I'm more than willing to help. Like seriously, you're gonna have kids all over the place doing, or adults or kids doing stuff all over the place that is crazy stupid just to get Beyonce's hairstylist to pay attention to them, just to get $18,000 in a GoFundMe, enough, seriously. You know, this is why we need to have like an intelligence test before people actually go to the voting booth because this just goes to show how dumb people are. Like if somebody's gonna put something on their head and they're not even gonna read the warning or what the product does, it's a product you've never used and you're not gonna read the warning labels? Man, I can't even, I don't even wanna fathom how you picked the president of the United States. <laughs> Seriously, 
You guys, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is completely crazy? And by the way, Tessica, I have a closet full of wigs. If you need one, let your girl know and I will send you one. But take the $18,000, go do something productive with it. Um, you know, I hope you learn your lesson. I really hope you learn your lesson. This video was not to make fun of you, but this video was just to kind of speak on the topic. I mean, there's really nothing positive I can say other than the fact uh, that you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself and you should know better. You're 40 years old. Get your life together. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. And please do not forget to return to my channel because I'm going to have another video real soon. Thank you guys so much and have a good one. Bye-bye.